Tonight we're making giant meatballs. I'm gonna make them four ways so you can see uh, a few variations on flavors. Those are gonna be served on a mountain of hooch pot, which is mashed potatoes and carrots, glazed in gravy rain, nestled in a fortified field of vinegar and spinach. Start off with we got ten small potatoes left whole in water. We're gonna set that on high. When it comes to a boil, we're gonna uh, time it out at 30 minutes, along with the potatoes. Put some carrots. Those are done boiling in 30 minutes. We're going to mash those, and that's going to be hoodge pot. All right, then we've got to uh, do our meatballs. So we've got a two pound log of lean ground beef. And you hear footsteps coming. You guys stay back. All right, so two pound log of beef, it's going in a bowl. I always take out 10 meatballs, 10 little mini meatballs for the dogs. five each when mom gets home. Dags. All right. So, number one most important thing with meatballs, you want them to stay together. To accomplish that with no issues, we use eggs and breadcrumbs as binding agents to stick to the beef and then to stick together. It's that quick, it's that easy. Now, you could just mold them into big balls if you want, or little balls, whatever you want, whatever you like. And uh, those will cook totally fine. Might be lacking a little bit of flavor, so that's what we're gonna do next. That's what you want it to look like. Time. Sage. Italian herbs.
That is not going to be the meatball for tonight. <laughs> Although maybe one day soon, Link Trace. All right, so we need four ways to make these meatballs. I was thinking of a uh, uh, old brick cheddar Parmesan mix. Uh, I was thinking of uh, peppers and onions. And then I was thinking festive peppers. And then I was thinking spicy meatball. Put my little ghost pepper here. And I was thinking pasta meatball. Well, let's see where we get. Let's, uh, let's do the hot meatball. So we're just going to slice up some red and green pepper. Start with spears. And take our ghost pepper. Slice it open. Butterfly that out. And scoop out these incredibly hot seeds. Remember, hottest part of the hot pepper is the seeds themselves. Put those on a plate on top of the fridge for a couple days, let them dry out. Put in a little, little baggie and plant them next year and have some delicious spicy ghost peppers. So we're gonna cut those in little strips. And turn the strips all together. I'm gonna get four meatballs, giant meatballs out of this. Take about a quarter. It's a nice meatball. But for this one, Throw some cheese in there. Yeah, let's just do straight cheese stuffed meatball. See if that works out. It's all right. Next one. So 
So we're going to do peppers and onions in this one. Okay. And we're going to throw a little garlic into this one. Usually add garlic right into the uh, the original mixed mound of ingredients. But I wanted to experiment a little bit, so we've got some peppers and onions. Nice big helping of garlic in there. Mix that up a little bit. Drive the garlic down there. And we'll close that over. I like the idea of doing four mystery meatballs like this. Um, but I feel like I don't want them to be a mystery completely. Like I don't want them to be a mystery to me. I want to know which ones I'm eating. So I think... Uh, if we mix this up here a little bit. It's our peppers and onions. That's a little crazy. What do you think about that? Okay, let's put that one over there. So we got one cheese and one outrageous uh, peppers and onions. What else? I got a little uh, leftover marinara sauce, pasta sauce, four cheese. I got some Parmesan. So let's do a, let's do a pasta meatball. I guess maybe these are just, uh, oh no, we were gonna do a spicy meatball, right? So let's do a spicy meatball. Let's do a spicy festive meatball, actually. Festive for the season. I guess that last one was pretty festive too, wasn't it? Okay, so this one is going to be an open top. So I think the important thing to remember here is just make sure that your walls um, to the little depression that you're making in here. Uh, make sure the walls and the floor of this little half box you're making uh, are, are as close to equal width as possible for even cooking. Okay, so we're going to take our ghost pepper. We're going to sit it down right in there. We're going to take some spears. Again, I've never done this before, but it seems like a lot of fun. So. And it's Christmas.
keep it in there. Pack the ghost pepper down. All right, we have two packets of Clubhouse brown gravy. Dark brown is beef flavored. Each packet gets one cup of water, two packets, two cups of water into a small saucepan. that powder up in there so you can't see anymore. Get that burner on medium, get that heating up. We've got a 14 inch cast iron pan heating up. While it's heating up, I'm going to add some vegetable oil. And I'm going to set my oven's broiler on high. That's heat from the top. Got one more meatball to make. A little bit smaller than the other ones. We're just going to make that a normal meatball with the thyme, sage, Italian herbs, breadcrumbs, and egg. Meatballs four ways. I'm gonna give that oil a second to heat up. If you ever wanna know if your oil's hot enough to start cooking, All right, so the meatballs are going in. Just how they're sitting right now, that's how I'm gonna put them in. Right around the outsides. That little one I'm gonna put on the inside because I know my stove kind of dips down to the left, so that's where the pooling of the oil is going to be. My heat is at a five right now. Now obviously I can't flip the crazy looking one, the spicy meatball. So what I'm going to do, because I'm trying to sear the outsides right now. While this is happening, I'm going to salt and pepper the tops. You can do this before you put them in the pan. I probably just forgot. Salt, pepper. I don't mind if I get it right in the oil. So as I turn them, that's going to coat them. So this one I cannot flip with the others. Now, 
The searing already started. So now we're going to be flipping them pretty rapidly. Try to get them seared all the way around. Now this one, because I'm using a cast iron pan especially, the sides are going to get nice and hot. Not every idea is the best idea. And if that's what you can take from this video, so be it. Not everyone's a home run. But experimenting in the kitchen is really fun. It challenges you. It inspires creativity. And as long as your flavors are there, the food's ugly, who cares? All right, these potatoes and carrots have been boiling for 30 minutes. So those are gonna come out. We don't wanna leave it on one side for too long. Just trying to steer the outside. You use tongs, you can kind of squeeze them back into shape if they start falling out of shape. These ones pretty much done. Now everything's still raw and pink in the middle. That's why we're getting our oven nice and hot. that for 10 minutes remember to keep stirring your gravy now and then as the water evaporates out it leaves behind the fats it thickens right up After you bring that to a boil, you can put it on simmer. You just turn that burner off that it was on and let it sit there and die down naturally. Remembering to uh, stir it every couple minutes while it still is boiling so it doesn't get all congealed on the bottom. All right, so this is our hoodge pot. Boiled potatoes and carrots. We're gonna mash that up. First thing we're gonna do is add some milk. Remember, not too much, feel it out. After 30 minutes, everything mashes really easy. And because of the size of the potatoes, we put them in the water, leaving them whole, they're gonna be nice and fluffy. So you don't wanna overdo it with the milk. I mean, you can overdo it with the milk if you want. It's your preference. I like a nice, uh, with my hoodge pot, I like to have it carrot chunky and potato smooth. If that makes any sense. And then once the milk has done its work, a little bit of margarine or butter.
All right, we've got our fortifying field of malt vinegared spinach. It doesn't always have to be fancy, right? Throw a little bit of salt down. And we've got our meatballs. So this little guy is our regular meatball. Just normal foundation flavors. Right over here we have our spicy meatball. We've got a ghost pepper interior with a marinara sauce, parmesan, and eloquently spiked red and green bell pepper. Over here we got our festive meatball, the same base foundation flavors, speckled with green, white, and yellow from the onion, red, and green bell pepper. Festive for the season. Happy holidays, everybody. And this is our cheese ball. We got a little seepage. It looks good. Meatballs are best served, just a little more medium than medium rare. Remember that cheese one with the cheese in the middle? What's up? Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's a perfect, perfectly cooked meatball. Bon appetit. No. What are you doing? Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, but don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Mazer, don't do that. <laughs> do that. <laughs> yeah, don't pull on the blanket. Don't pull on the blanket, I said. Just no. just don't, though. Now I'll take... What is it that you want? What? Yeah, puppy. <laughs> I don't know what you want. Good boy. Yeah, I don't... What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> but what do you want? <laughs> You have to tell me what you want. What do you want? 
Now you want something. Dale, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Ah, ah, ah.